Today we are going to install an SSD in this HP Pavilion Gaming Desktop. Some of you may recognize me from TikTok, uh, where this gaming PC went viral. I'll roll the clip here. I was scrolling through Facebook Marketplace when I found an HP Pavilion Gaming Desktop for only $300. Talked her down to $250. We bought it. Let's try it out and see. All right, I'm going to show you two things that you need to upgrade the SSD in your PC. So first off is obviously the SSD itself. I go with this brand because I've used it before and I know it's reliable. Um, plus it was on sale so it was a nice little bonus. We just went with a small little 240 gig but you definitely can go with bigger ones and it's still affordable. Next you're going to need uh, SATA cables and screws to mount it. So I got this pack. It's a like a double pack if I wanted to mount two SSDs. And then it also comes with the ketchup and mustard cables in the back that allow you to mount the two. Otherwise, for me, myself, I just really needed the SATA cables and screws. Also a nice price. I will provide the link to both of these below. The first thing that you're going to want to do is take off this panel to the right of the PC to get inside. Uh, for the HP Pavilion, it's located right here. And there's a screw right here that you'll use to take off the screw to the side and then you just grab this and pull it and it comes right off. The next thing you're going to want to do that's important is take this screw off, put it to the side so you don't lose it, and then you can take this like this and pull it right off. Here now you have a view of the inside of the PC. Next you're going to want to open up your SSD and get that out and ready. Here's mine. It's about yay big. And then you'll need one of the SATA cables. And you'll need some screws to mount it up in here. Next, you're going to want to look in the PC for where it says SATA. And then you're going to grab one of your cables and get that. Now you can use that SATA cable that you just grabbed and installed. And you're going to put it in this slot. So next, you'll grab this cord, and you'll bring this closer, as you can see on that side. And you'll plug it in, just like that. And now, it's ready to be screwed in and installed. Next, you're going to want to pick a spot of where to put the SSD. Now you'll take the screws from the package and screw it to the cage. Next, you're going to want to seal up the PC and put all the screws in the right spots where you put them to begin with. Next, you're going to put the case back on. You're going to take it and go test it out now. Alright, let's turn it on and see if it worked. So if you're doing this just to upgrade the storage and get some more games, you go to System. You'd go to storage, and then you go to manage storage spaces, and that's where you would add one on. You'd do create new pool and add storage space, but I already have it set up on my end. Originally, I was going to make it the boot drive and put Windows on it, but I had a bunch of difficulties with that, so we decided not to go that route and just use it as a game storage. Uh, but yeah, that's it. If you have any questions, you can comment below. Go make sure you like, subscribe, and check out my other socials. I'm affiliate on Twitch, and I have over 6,000 on TikTok. Let's go.